All right, today's episode is called One Plus One Does Not Equal Two. Now, there was a uh, podcast of Terrence Howard talking about One Plus One Does Not Equal Two. You can watch that, but we talk about it in a in a different way where I think um, a lot of people, they, they want to be the CEO and they can do it by themselves. And then when they bring in another person, it's going to come to two people, you know, one is one that I go to. So this is about team building, team building and the importance of a team. You get amplification, exponential amplification when you bring on new people. And we talk about this in other episodes, but it's like knowledge and time amplification. Yep. So let's just take an example like yourself and myself. You come with a whole block of resources, information, people, connections, right? And then I come with my own unique set. Yep. So when a team of two comes together like us, it's that's definitely does not equal only two people contributing. That's a lot of contributing. We built, we that. built this in three years, mm-hmm. four years. And now there's a lot of people behind us doing the work 24 seven. Like it could be midnight and sales team meeting chat is still going off. Mm hmm. So literally, like, we're here, we're kind of like, not vacation, we're like on a medical leave right now. Yeah. And um, the machine is going. It's been going the whole time. People having conversations, running ads, new ads, taking ads down, showing properties. Like, there's an awful lot of activity happening without us even being there. Yep. The road's going down. Road's going down. Somebody's setting up ads. Like, there's a, there's just a lot going on. And I think um, everybody wants to be a leader because they don't want to share revenue. But the thing is, you need to, you need to find a game so big that there's enough revenue to go around i think a lot of real estate businesses fail because they they want to absorb all the profits for themselves which is fine that's fine but you're going to sacrifice something with that you're going to sacrifice your turnover you're going to sacrifice no deals you're going to sacrifice what people stealing from you because you're undercutting them you're going to sacrifice a lot of different things just because you have a <clears throat> maybe a, a smaller mindset I think real estate is a perfect breeding ground for people to take the knowledge, get up and go away, right? Because like, hey, I don't need you to sell houses. I don't need you to do this. I can just go anywhere and go learn how to do this and keep more of my own profits, right? Is what our our vision goes. But with with big land, it's like you almost need a team. You have to have a team. You have to. You have to. There's too many moving parts. You got capital raising. You got selling. You got development. You got engineers, due diligence, lead mining. There's like 50 different jobs here. Marketing. So HR, lead, lead management, transaction coordination. I think it's the hardest business that you could possibly select to uh, uh, try to do on your own. Yeah, it's crazy. I I, th- I think the whole the wholesale game you can definitely do it by yourself, but when you step up your game and you got a lot more shit going on, you got to go after stuff that have margins enough to pay your team and people to keep them around. Because the the one thing about talent is you can find great talent, but you got to pay them. You got to pay them, and that's the way to keep great talent around you is you can keep them keep them fed. And they know they you have a stable income, like stability is important. This uh, this business is crazy, and when, especially when you're bootstrapping it, you have to provide stability for yourself and people around you. Um, especially when they're transitioning, I think we've had a few people quit their job and come on full time, and that's that's providing stability for a lot of people. We have, we have a full time staff now. Oh, full time staff, lots of people, lots of how many BAs are you running? Six. And their family, right? Because three or four of them have been with us for since three day years. one. Yes, yeah, since day one. So we got that. And then we have our in-house people like Jazz, Gabe, Leslie. You know, so there's at least three or four more on salary on my side. So there's 10. And then all the accessory people. Yep. Mike and Junior and everybody, Daphne, Marcy, there's like Diego. I think a lot of people think a business is too small. But you, you got to think about it. To bring good people, you have to create big revenue to keep the people on your team fed and to grow. So you always got to keep growing your revenue um, to, to entice that new talent coming through. Um, and if you don't, you're going to have turnover. You have people stealing from you. You're going to have all those other things. I think that's what's cool about our business model is that it seems like there's enough revenue involved to pay everybody a lot. A lot. Yeah, and there's no reason for anybody, you know, like let's say ourselves to be like, oh, well, we need to make the most of it and our people need to make very, very little. And that's what you see in a lot of real estate companies, yep. brokerages. They got somebody's like making a, the, the lion's share and running that's away. Crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. And then what are the what they, the biggest problem is they have so much turnover. Turnover, massive turnover. Turnover. They, they can't even keep an office of three people or five people. And here we are. We're brand new to real estate. I feel like you know five years in, and we've had little turnover. 
very little the people very that showed up turnover. still go to work like, and now like i said now there's maybe you know 50 core people with the sales team and all that like the, the people that are like loyal in here yeah we might have a 50 person team already and then all their accessory people yeah and then just the the hive mind fans the subscribers i mean so I'm, I'm betting now we're closer to 500 you know inside of our network easy and maybe way bigger than that that's only what we can touch and feel and see yeah it, it, it's yeah. literally insane it's insane um i always hear about all these like gurus talking about their turnover is crazy because there was a big there was a lot of turnover during covid and i was like man you guys gotta pay your people more pay your people more did it ever dawn on you like <clears throat> take care of their base needs yeah and then even in deals guys like like if you take one deal and then you take that money and you roll it into the next deal there's another scenario where one plus one does not equal one mm-hmm. because it, it, we're, we're buying on such a huge multiple if you took your cash and your profits from this deal and rolled it into a second deal, I mean, now your 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 multiple is about to go crazy. So it's another place in land where just things get amplified, the numbers get exponential. I don't know. You gotta you gotta invest in your team. I think is the, is the moral of this video is you gotta invest in your team, invest in your systems, and um, you'll exponentially grow. So if you're stuck in a rut, you is got it? something you got something wrong. You need to fix. I, th- I think everybody should be teaching somebody. You know, you should always be teaching at least two people always. Find two people that will team up with you, partner with you, and replace you. That way, in case you have to be gone for a week, you know, there's a lot of activity happening behind the scenes when you're not around. Absolutely. Thanks for listening. Hope you found some value, and we'll see you next episode. Go like, share, subscribe. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks, guys. Hey, if you have any deals you'd like to submit to the Hive Mind and our team, go to hivebc.io. That's actually the Hive Buyers Club. Submit your deals, and we can helpfully dispel your deal for you. Have a great day.